Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hometown TCG. My name is Josh. And I'm John. And we are checking out some more Devastation gameplay. And this is going to be fun. So we got Blitz today, so switching it up a little bit. Uh, I do notice it's only 14 minutes long, which was a surprise to me. I'm like, whoa, it's going to be quick. Oh, I didn't even look at that. Yeah. You just went out it's only 14 minutes long. So they switched up the format for sure. Uh, we know nothing about this yet. We don't. So obviously they made decks, and uh, they're going to have two play each other. And uh, we're going to find out. We got some Lexi versus Briar. Lexi rolled a 12. So, Okay, so if you're Lexi, first of all, we're assuming we're going to see Lightning Lexi here. Is it the assumption? Or you think it's going to be Frost Lexi? I think so. It might be a hybrid. I don't They like to spice it up a little bit. I think it's going to be a hybrid. Okay, hybrid Lexi. I think we're going to see full Lightning and Briar. I was going to say, and he's not wearing a chest piece. It's, <laughs> it's really spicing it's really it up. He's spicing it up. And oh, look at the equipment set. Okay. Dude, that's the full <laughs> legendary set. Briar is the first person that can run that full legendary set, which is sick. Yeah, we did that earlier uh, for a practice in the Discord. We sent a picture to all the patrons like, this equipment set is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so hold on. We got we do have okay, New, so New Horizon, there. Code of Frost, Shock Charmers, and Perch Grapplers. So Shock of Frost, or, uh, Code, Code of Frost. Frost, much better in Blitz. Yes. Uh, that effect really can devastate someone. Is it better than Tunic? Maybe in Blitz. There's a possibility. So we're going into the first turn. Lexi is going first with that high roll of 12, so she opted uh -huh. to go first. Okay. Without so any reliable... set up for a six-card arsenal. Maybe try to push through 20 damage, threaten lethal in one turn. Oh, three of a kind? On the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our, oh, I mean, snapshot start. Snapshot. Just going to end it here? Wow, yeah. All right, all right. And keeps, is that a red electrify? Holds on to the red electrify to fuse the snapshot next turn. Perfect. Oh, oh, so then what's in his arsenal? I don't know. Okay, we are seeing some lightning here. Okay. Uh, Veil, oh, just starting with a Veil of Flash, fusing it. Okay. I was like, wait, right? just naked Heaven's Claws? Yes. Starting with the Veil of Flash, fusing the Veil of Flash. Veil of Flash costs one, though. Uh, he pitched Autumn's oh, Touch. Didn't even see it. Yep. Okay. All right. That's, I mean, Lexi looks like she's in the power position. Are you just not blocking here? So she... <gasps> yeah, so this is going to be cool if she hits it. She doesn't. She doesn't hit. No. This the, is why our uh, Sonata sucks. The Briar Whip, no. no. I'll stick out, with that play of bed if it hit, though. That would have been nice. It did oh. give her the instant ability. So, Veil of Flash did kind of cover okay. up the fact that she didn't have two non-attack actions. But you get two Embodiment of Earth off this because she did trigger Shock Charmers mm -hmm. with the Floating Pitch. Sweet. We're saying she, she being Briar, the player being Jason, is yes. Easy. So, just to clarify. Oh! Okay, and the she does get the go again from Sonata Arcanix, uh -huh. though. So throwing Rosetta Thorn for two and two. Oh my gosh. So, so you are getting some decent embodiment of Earths, which is going to make the six card hand not as useful. True. And you're also throwing four damage here. <laughs> Don't overlook that. That's huge. Oh my God, it went down to 10. All right. All right, Carol, what do you got? I mean, we got Snapshot here. <laughs> Just seems ridiculous. Oh no, what's this gonna be? Hopefully there wasn't a miscalculation. You know, some of those turns where you think you're gonna have a big turn and it turns out to be not as big. You're like, ah, oh, God, no. Let's see, oh, okay. Crud. Oh, here we go. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there, you know, this is funny. I did notice in one of our videos, I, there was a turn where I could have activated Perch Grapplers to cycle through more endless arrows, and I didn't. Oh, rookie mistake. Yeah. Okay, so you right. so this a few this is cool. Frazzle. So the Frazzle is what went into the arsenal. But now all arrows have go again, right? Is it yeah. all arrows? All arrows. So oh. that's pretty nice. He oh. doesn't have to get the go again on him. He can get plus one. He has two arrows in the arsenal. That's pretty great. <gasps> oh, there's a spicy jason play possible here break in the perch man that's so good four that block is, on the non-attack oh my gosh that is so good snapshot so whenever attack would deal damage deals that much damage plus one so it's coming in for four yeah, and that just, was that that's hit five right hit or is five. it just coming in for five and he fuses so he can okay it's just, does he have more non-attack actions? It doesn't look like it. He's out of non-attack actions. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh! No, no we're playing with Tunic 
no. These guys are going all out. All right. <laughs> Black this four. A, this is going to be a two turn game. Oh my goodness. Taking no damage though. All right. Triggering picking plus one, I'm sure. Oh, bolt and shoot here. Here's pretty cool. You might be able to save a. If this hits and you save a pitch, you might be able to throw one more one pitch arrow here. Yeah. Well, he's got a. What does he have? I thought this was the Heaven's Claws that he just fused with here. Yeah. Okay, so he's trying to make sure Bolt and Shoot. Block, so... But if he has a zero cost arrow, this is a blowout. Okay, it's not. No, okay. Oh, what? What just happened? Full block. But what's cool is that Carol's in a decent position because he's got the arsenal and no embodiment of Earth tokens. Yeah, what do you mean a decent position? That is an amazing position. You undersold that. That's the undersell of a century. Unless he draws. <laughs> what if he draws all light cards and no arrows? Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, and did you call it? I don't know. <laughs> that would be, oh, I, so you break Code of Frost here because, well, I think you wait, you wait to see if he doesn't block your first arrow. Okay. And you give it, oh, again. the Briar player has an energy potion in hand. The energy no. potion in Blitz. That's an interesting call. No, the energy potion. <laughs> uh, is this it? With only nine block. Oh, pulse. What? Pulse of Bolthaven. Oh! Oh, no! What does he have attack-wise? He's got, he's got the attack he's reaction, got a, He's got a lightning press. I don't know if he has an arrow. I'm looking at his hand. Either. It I see a Heaven's like Claws. I see a lightning press. What? A weave lightning? A weave light. Oh, my gosh. Does he not... Is he going to go for one giant attack here? Is it, I, I don't even know if he's playing the pulse. <laughs> it's just going to hold it. All right, so is that weave, great. weave lightning yellow, it looks like? I can't tell. Heaven's okay. Claws. All right, so he's got go again. He's coming in for okay. four, so it's a so weave lightning blue. I think if he doesn't block here, which he probably won't, then you play the Code of Frost next. I think so, too. Because you know Jace is going to come back with a big turn. Right, right, right. Or at least he's trying to. And you're, uh, yeah, you are only at 10. So the full block there into the no arrow draw. If this is a no arrow draw. Okay, so he lightning presses the Heaven's Claws and triggers Shock Charmers. And shock Charmers, that's not bad. That's a pretty big turn. It just cost a lot to do it. It does. But he's, and he's, break, yeah, see? he's breaking the Code of Frost. Yeah, with two Frostbite tokens, I don't know if Jason can do everything he wants with just a four card hand. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know if he gets the double attack. Let's see. Well, we're, we are 100%. Ooh. That's the specialization. And and the stuff, does he have a lightning and an earth card to fuse it? Uh, Isn't that the specialization in his hand? It is. Oh, he, And he's got a lightning. He does. He does. He can fuse it. He can fuse it. But which, he doesn't have go again, but I guess he can but spell he gets to, bound, right? I thought you get to play a non-attack action from the graveyard yeah, as an instant. So he plays so, Sonata Arcanix again and digs for more. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see he's got, the Sonata. He's got he's a line. On it. He's got a line. Or you could bank on Tome. Oh no! The you can't play it. The two frostbites. We didn't account for the frostbites. It's double frostbite. It's not oh. one. I was thinking one from Code of Frost. It was the second two one. Two frostbites. Frost. See, that's that's why you do it right there. There's nothing you can do. So he's just coming in with a naked Heaven's Claws, and Lexi goes, "Eh, no block." Yeah, I think Lexi's gonna have this one pretty quick here. Okay, and tr trigger from Shock Charmers. But we are getting two embodiments of Earth back. The block out. Not bad. The block outs. I don't know. The block out's an option. If you draw enough non-attack action cards here, every card in your hand blocks for four. If you can try to deplete his entire hand and arsenal and have a decent life buffer. Oh, two not, so not two bad. Tome of Harvest. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I fell victim to three of a kind twice yesterday. Well, two separate games, like six times. Five times. That's brutal. I feel, so, I feel so bad for the Briar player. Three of a Kind feels like Art of War it, for Lexi. You said that yesterday, and that blew my mind. I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it does. That's the sinking really feeling. Does. That's the sinking feeling that I get. That's why it's familiar. <laughs> okay, right. so what, are we throwing a, so we flipped up a Heaven's Claws from the Arsenal to throw Heaven's Claws, I assume? Yeah, so you're looking at at least three attacks this He's got two? a Shock Charmer. So bro. he's got three non-attack actions in hand. And one is Channel Thunderstep. 
Oh. So that is a five block. So that's a four block, block right here. He's got another Tome of Harvest. Oh, wait, no. Crown wait, of, what? I thought, I thought he was about to crown a seed. I thought he was like. too. I was like, what is, what am I missing? He's going to crown a seeds away the arsenal. So that way he can get another non-attack action in hand to block with. Pitch the attack. Pitch the attack. Pitch the attack to crown of seeds away the arsenal. It's a play. It is. It, <laughs> if you have a lot of embodiment of earth, it's a play. It is a play. So a pulse of Volthave infused buzz bolt for nine. Well, this is where he plays his two other non-attacks. Blocks nine. Right? Uh, it has go again, I believe. Or no, did he pick plus? Or no, just that's triggering one use. Yeah, and he is, I mean, we're blocking for nine. That is nine block. It's a good block. That is nine freaking block. So this kind of gets you into Briar. So Briar has this amazing block turn, but the problem is she blocks out once, and then the next turn, her you, blocks are bad. Right, you kind of have to take damage. So it feels like she has this back and forth ability. Right. But in Blitz, you can't take too many turns where you just take it all. Right, and if you are if you get unlucky where the three of a kind turn comes on a turn where you you would have no embodiments of Earth, you're on the back rather than the fourth, you might be in trouble. Like imagine if those two embodiments of Earth had come, or the three of a kind had come out last turn. Mm -hmm. That would have been absolutely nutty. Yeah, exactly. So it's not Ooh. something you can- Headshot's a really good call in these decks. Mm -hmm. It's a one for six. And pitch to shock charm. attack charmers. Okay. So now, it's, it's very great. It's not great. You wonder what he kept. If he kept some kind of blue, can he do? Oh no, he kept nothing. Okay, I don't wonder what he kept. He kept nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> but Carol kept. Carol kept presumably a, card. a lightning card in our city, yeah, presumably. I think this is it. I think it wraps up here. No <laughs> embodiments. This is the exact turn you were talking about. No embodiments. Nothing going on. Oh, we not attack it. We got a ball. Find all. And we got a ball lightning in hand. That's gonna. Oh no. All right, ladies and gentlemen out there in YouTube land, say a uh, a quick thank you to the Briar player, Jason, for getting out here and, and doing their best, but they're about to get run over. It's gonna. You know what? You know what? I'm comfortable enough saying this one's over. I'm gonna start drinking my coffee. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, this is one yeah. of my favorite arsenal targets. Is a Heaven's Claw. One hundred percent. It's such a good card in this in the Lightning Lexi deck. It's so good. He doesn't even need to light it up. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Jason. So Jason's got a lot of two blocks and a zero block in hand, and the zero block can be used to crown a seeds away the arsenal target and try to pick up a block. Yes, that's what he's doing. I guess he just tries to do that until Carol doesn't draw an arrow. Which we've seen, it's possible. The problem is, even if they don't, if Carol doesn't draw an arrow, don't they still uh, Heaven's Claws and stuff? And, yeah. and st they're still putting and pressure. And doesn't have one in the arsenal. Oh, no. It's not great. Oh, this is not great. Oh, Bolton Shot. Oh, no. Bolton Shot feels like a block out because you just have to get rid of that reload. You can't, you must make them pay to put the card in their arsenal. Otherwise, they can do too much. Unless he, I mean, if he's a yellow or blue, it doesn't matter, but. Trigger Crown of Seeds, just like we talked about. Yep. Would have been cool to draw into a non-attack action there. It's a blue ball lightning. Has used Crown of Seeds. Does pick up a block. Okay. It's preventing, it's. Or it takes one. Takes one, yep. Reloads it. Does he, he does opt to reload. Okay. Oh no. Oh, you called it. Oh Dude, no. Dude, you called it. You I had the red and it was a zero cost. Oh. Oh, it's a zero cost arrow. Oh. If they get the reload off, it's just, it, it's a blowout. If I don't think most people factor that in with Bolton Shot. They just see the five go again, which is great. But The five go again is great, but the reload allows you to play just off less resource. And as soon as you get down to the end of those turns where resources are scarce, man, it's so valuable. Okay, what'd you think? <laughs> uh, that was quick. I forgot how fast Blitz was. Blitz That's what I thought. Is so fast. I think that was an absolute blast. Uh, Lightning Lexi in Blitz is going to be a problem, and I think it's going to be a fun strategy to play because it's so all or nothing. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'm we. Just, we I'm watching this. I'm trying to think 
what Briar can do. If Briar goes first, then mm-hmm. she doesn't get the six card hand and an arsenal. Uh, what do you think happens there? So if Briar goes first and Lexi doesn't get the six card hand, we we saw an opportunity where Briar put on a lot of pressure. Lexi, the Lexi player Carol went all the way down to ten, right? So soaking damage is taking. We saw the Briar player then stay at twenty. But it's that back foot turn you were talking about. So the build has to have something to do with the back foot turn. And maybe, just maybe, instead of Shock Charmers and Crown, you're looking at, in Blitz, you're looking at something like Skullcap and Grasp to generate the extra six block over a course of a game there. Right. So and that, then he, he's alive at that point and can do another turn. I mean, he ex- lost by four. Exactly. And you, you kind of keep yourself to... You have, you have the ability to block out if you want to, but if you have a good hand and you really still want to keep the pressure up, it allows you one turn to say, mm-hmm. okay, I'm going to keep the pressure up. Okay. So maybe, what do you think? Yeah, that makes sense, because Briar does need to get enough turns to kind of get her set up sort of thing. Right. So I could definitely see that. Okay. Uh, I, I feel it. All right. Well, let us know in the comments if you want us to give uh, Blitz a try. We're doing a lot of CC stuff, but let us know if you want to see some Blitz stuff here on the channel. Uh, this has been a blast. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Visit us at patreon.com slash hometown TCG. That's right. I'm super excited for the next one. But until then, my name is John. And I'm Josh. And we'll see you around. Maybe.